same as I think you guys know the heat and I try to save energy. Yeah. Come on guys, ask questions please. The ship that like most of my focus to the end of the year to this and yeah, it's pretty much a recap of last year. I got injured as of last year, came back for a roof and it was good. So, I mean, it feels good to be back riding again and yeah, I'm hoping for another good one. Trav, same with you. I saw you, we chatted earlier, last year you were shattered. How's, how's the fitness level this year? Better? Yeah, last year, I didn't know what really to expect from this year. Had more of an idea to go out there and I know what fitness and what food to take with me. And I think I'm feeling that's the Well, I can tell you, Lighties, you've got you've got the South African public in your team, and I think that's a big one. Mm -hmm. So you've had a you've had a good year, hey? a, a, mostly abroad. How, how important is the roof to you relative to the other, both national and international? I mean, you've had a fantastic time this year. Yeah, I've had a good year so far. Um, gained a lot of experience overseas in that, riding with the international guys like Lexi, Graham, Paul and them. And uh, yeah, I've learned a lot and uh, I would say the roof is probably one of the, the biggest biggest international race for me, even though it's because it's in South Africa, I have all my South Africans here and, um, and it's my home country so a lot of people expect or would like me to do a lot better. So And also for myself, I want to win and do well not necessarily in my country, but neighbouring countries. So, um, yeah, it's be, yeah, it's a very good race. Can I tell you an interesting statistic that was put on Facebook? Elsa Tiot's not here. She does a lot of freelance stuff. With I was reading a magazine that dirt, dirt works or something. Yeah. And I was told my dad the other, the other day, like last week, like, hey, the year I was born, Daryl wanted to. Win. <laughs> yeah. It's quite amazing. Yeah, if you think great. about it, and I mean. Daryl's not an old guy. Hey, old man. Yes, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. That's conference over. <laughs> Letty, I think he's including you in that conversation. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Guys, you, you're quite tight. Sorry if I'm taking the floor. Letty, you become the erased there. Kind of overseas. Because uh, I, I see he posts on I Facebook. I think Graham thinks that he's got great ears. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, also, I think, I think the, the thing that separates uh, all the big races in the world is not so much about the race itself, but the profile of the race. So you could uh, win some, some race in the middle of nowhere that, where the course is actually terrible, but the profile of the event is significantly bigger than anywhere else in the world. Is, is the Roof of Africa on track now, do you think, in your minds, maybe on a great piece of way, you can get a fair month lately, to getting up there with some of the bigger races in the world from a profile point of view? I think it's... The roof is definitely amongst like the, the big names as Romaniacs and um, Erzberg and that. Um, well, for me, it's, it's it's a big race. I think maybe some riders, it's not as big race for them. But uh, I think as soon as we get like Johnny Walker over, I think he's like the, the only top rider in the world uh, that is missing out of out of the, the bunch that comes to roof. Um, but uh, yeah, I definitely think it's. Uh, it's one of the bigger races, but like uh, each each big extreme race has like its own perspective of uh, like Hersberg is only three hours long, Romaniacs is uh, four days long, and on GPS and Mark where uh, Roof is two days and pretty much two long days and uh, on GPS. So I think it's uh, amongst uh, the big races. And uh, obviously it's through Motor, but uh, through various channels this year there, there's quite a big emphasis on getting this broadcast worthy. Because that I think was, was the big intention, especially for all the sponsors as well that have put a lot of effort in here. Um, so I heard something in the region of a potential 42 million viewers throughout Europe this year. So I think maybe that's going to change things and get guys' attention when it comes to this. Yeah, I think, uh, I think even that uh, there's quite a few international guys that come out, but also there's a lot of guys overseas that follow and watch uh, and are interested in the roof. I think also it's got such a long history from back in the days and uh, that a lot of people know about the roof and still follow it and like to know what's going on. Scotty, back from injury, how's it going so far? What have you done since you've kind of recovered? Um, well, I recovered a few months ago and since then I've just been training for pretty much for this race and doing long rides and obviously getting my fitness back to where it was. Um, I think riding skills when you had a break actually it helps quite a bit. 
because you're so keen to get back on the bike again and you just want to get going again. So it's probably good getting back and going to do it. You had an incredible ride last year because I knew every time we saw you, it was fun. So it's going to be a good one. Are there any questions from you lot? Anything you guys would like to hear? Just what, what, um, why don't more overseas guys come here? Everybody knows about it and it's one of the big races. Yeah, yeah, it's very popular, people. but um, I don't know. Yeah, maybe it's, maybe it's, it's the money or how to get a bike here or something like this. I don't well, when you say it. money, you're referring to price purse or the costs? Mm. Not the costs. costs. I mean the costs, yeah. So if somebody had a container in Europe and said, for oh, 600 euros, put your bike in and then get yourself to South Africa, would more guys come? I think so. Yeah. It's the same in Europe, you know. Um, they have to transport the bikes also to Turkey. It's far away from home. And, uh, and a lot of people, they, they do the transport, three or four guys with, I don't know, 100 bikes, they send it to, to Turkey. So um, I think it's, yeah, it can be good. So Kate said should start a rental fleet for the roof and sell them as once written by a little old lady in the church. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You actually make a killing. Yeah, you're the South African race dad, okay. Right. When do we see you doing the roof again? Now, why do I want to come beat myself up? Well, you've, yeah. just, you've, just, you've just won the master's class. Much to you. Ah! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now, I think for most guys, to come do the roof, you have to do the gold. And I just think... Uh, Come here, 51 years old, and try and do the gold. You know, I'm not active in the sport except for the nationals. And uh, you know, I must give back to the sport, and that's what we do. I mean, we do a rental package this year with 25 cars from overseas, which is fantastic for the race. And we've given the hobby rider in Europe or the good rider around the world a chance to come and try the roof of Africa, because it's every box that the guy wants to tick. And uh, the blokes that have come now. One from New Zealand, Australia, there's about nine Germans, eight English guys, guys from uh, Israel. So they're all coming to tick the box and, and, and see what they, you know, I think we've got a very good favorite in Bradley Evans in the, in the silver class, the Australian. I've been out with him, I've seen him ride. The reason why he did not ride gold was because he went to Romania and he rode the pro class and obviously he didn't finish and he thought it was a lot of money to come and not finish so the roof is going to try silver. I think we've got a front runner in the silver class and I've just been out the back there with the Israel, uh, Israeli Nimrod. I think he's also, I could just see straight away this bloke knows what he's doing on a bike so you know it's nice I think for them to win the, the, the classes that are out there. Um, and we know what will happen, they'll come back and try gold, for sure, if they finish this race, so... But from my side, no, I don't want to ride it again. Remember, I came here for almost 20 years. And, uh, you know, I must put something back and help the youngsters and give the, give the good guys a chance. We've got 16-year-olds that have got, you know, look up to Wade and the guys. Now we've got Travis in them, you know, Wade's two, three years down the line now, and uh, there's younger talent that we've got that and they want to come and do this thing. Tick their box, make their name, and get onto the sponsorship list. I'm going to ask you a question now. Brad, this year, I'm going to 